softened as he's about to tee off. A frog jumps out of a nearby pond, turns to him and says, Ribbit, four iron. The man doesn't know what to make of this. He's never heard of a talking frog before. But he figures, he figures why not? So he takes out his four iron and tees off. And he makes a very long drive just right outside the green. He walks up there, gets ready for his next shot, and finds that the frog has been following him all this time. The frog turns to him and says, Ribbit, chipping wedge. So, since the frog was right the first time, he decides to try it again. He takes the chipping wedge, makes a shot, and it lands very close to the hole. It rolls right towards it and <laughs> sinks the shot. And for the rest of his golf game, it just goes on like that. The frog is always correct in which putter to, in which club to use. The frog. This frog is doing so well that when the man finishes his game, he takes the frog with him for a weekend in Atlantic City. He then goes into the first casino he sees, walks right over to the roulette table, turns to the frog and goes, Ribbit, 35. So the man takes out a huge wad of money, all he brought with him, and puts it on number 35. The wheel is spun. 35 it is! So the man, so when he goes to his hotel that night, it's had a very great weekend. He's raising a ton of money. He asks the frog, you've been so good to me. How can I ever repay you? And the frog goes, baby, kiss me. The man doesn't know what to make of this. I mean, he's never kissed a frog before, but why not? The frog's done so much for him. So he bends over, kisses the frog on the mouth. Boom! Just then, the frog turns into the most beautiful young girl you could ever imagine. This, this gorgeous young woman, so shapely, so radiant. Your Honor, that's how the teenage girl wound up in his hotel room!